Okay, Red Viking Trucker Nation, Werewolf Trucker Nation. I've got good sound. I just checked it. I've been out of pocket for a minute. It's been a crazy run so far to get down here. Um, but I'm in Southern California. I deliver at uh, 10 o'clock tonight, Pacific time. So I'm about to get my Johnny nap in. I took off this morning about one. I stopped and uh, I'm not going to say hi to people, but I'm going to put the chat up. Local guy, I lied, I said hi to local guy. What's going on, local guy? But I had to, I got my first ever level one DOT inspection by California DOT. Like I've been out here running for five years. I have never had anything more than a level two, ever. Had a level one. Gets worse. California DOT, it gets worse. But I'll tell you about that. I had to clean the truck up first. Um, I got up, went over to the truck wash in um, Las Vegas. Got the, the truck had she hadn't been washed in in uh, four in four or five weeks. She was she was a little bit dirty. She doesn't like to be dirty. Describe what's going on. I will say hi to a few people. Jason Spratos, we will uh, leave that up, local guy. Thank you, thank you. Um, Sean Bipley, what's happening, brother? I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna try and. Talk about my level one DOT inspection, truck, trailer, logs, everything, and still put you guys up. But I need to get my dining nap in because I got I got to get back up this evening and get over to the ship, the receiver. Pardon me by by ten o'clock. But I, I'm here. I got reserved parking, paid for it for the day. That way, when I leave and I come back and the place is packed and somebody's got my space, I can go inside and they'll kick them out and I can park because um, I don't get a load till tomorrow out of here. But I went and got the trucks, the, the outside cleaned up because she was dirty. She was a dirty girl. She only got 18,000 miles on her, but she was a dirty girl. Um, all the snow I've been through, I had to pick up on a dirt lot this week up in uh, Logan, Utah. And it, it had just finished like the, the snow had melted. So it was muddy and mud all under the truck, all over the wheel wells, everything. Anyway, I got it cleaned up. I went to a truck wash at one o'clock this morning, got it washed, took off. Listen to this. Listen to this strategy. Chris Gagnon, what's happening? Listen to this strategy. I like, I like the strategy. Brothers Grimm Trucking US. He's looking currently now. He's filled all his dedicated trucks, brand new trucks, full maintenance leases. They're all filled. He's got a second authority for uh, leasing on people that want to run the load boards. Brothers Grimm US. You can bring your own tractor has to be approved, obviously. Your your background, your DAC, your DOT has to be approved, obviously. He is very finicky about the type of drivers he's looking for, but you can bring your own tractor over and run the load boards under his second authority he has. So brothersgrim.us. But he had a great idea. He's like, listen, on your way down to Cali, stop in and get a level one DOT done on the tractor to help his CSA scores. Beautiful idea. Other than the fact, when you pull in, Renee Santana, what's going on, brother? Hound dog, what's happening? So here's how it went down. Let me tell you how it all went down. I went and got the tractor cleaned up first. Stopped and got some all my my coffees, my second round of coffees. And right there, there's a uh, there's the last place that you're at. There's a big casino. Uh, what is it? Pete Pete's Casino on the right, leaving town on 15th. So I stopped in there, got some more coffees, and then I got back on the interstate. And then shortly after that, about 20 miles, you have the uh, the port of entry. Might be more than that. But anyway, it was early. Pulled in. I pulled around to the back with my tractor trailer. I had to scale first. Um, what's going on, uh, May? I had to scale first. And then I went around to the back of the parking area. And I was going to drop my trailer and go inside and just ask for the level one just on my tractor. But I thought, you know what, before I go to all the trouble of the three to five minutes of dropping my trailer, let me just walk inside and see if I can even do that. Cause nobody seemed to know, but we did want to get a level one, a minimum on the tractor, brand new tractor, no problems. Um, let me, uh, let me do this. I might, I might be wrong, but I think that's who that was. Anyway, Mayhem Trucker, you're out. Um, 
So I walked inside, took my books, took my license, took my medical card, took my, my bill of lading. I walked inside to the main office. There were four or five truck station bays, but I walked right by them, went inside to the main office. There was a DOT guy behind the desk. I told him what I needed. I said, listen, I could get a level one on my tractor. He said, well, didn't you pull around with the trailer attached? I said, yes. He said, you got to bring that in too. I'm like, okay, not a problem. I'll do that because again, it's power only. They take care of their equipment on the trailers. So I pulled into the bay and the bay is like, for those of you that never had a level one inside a bay in California, at least when I went through, um, at that bay, it's got a long opening underneath the tractor and the trailers. When you park, they can be underneath, just like when you go to a quick lube and they have those places underneath your car that they take all the you know oil filter off and all that and drain it and fill it. They had a long bay or a long hole in the floor. You got to drive over that. He tells me to park. He he chalked my wheels, told me to turn my, my uh, put push my brakes in and shut the truck off. I'm going to give you the play by play because I've never been through it. And even though I asked for it. I wasn't sure what to expect completely because I thought the guy inside would grab my logs and stuff. He said, go out to that bay, pull in, blah, blah, blah. So I did that. Man, I'm seeing people over here wearing two and three masks. Ah, I'll leave it alone. And they're outside in the middle of the parking lot anyway. So I, I, I turned everything off. The guy's name was Daniel. Daniel, if you're watching, enjoy the lanyard. And, uh, he said, let me get your license. He was super, super polite. Like, I've never had a bad encounter with a DOT officer yet. Never had one. He was super, super polite. So let me grab your license. Let me grab your electronic log. And he said, let me, uh, what else did he ask for? He said, let me, and he got those two things first and your bill of lading. I gave him all those three things. He said, do you have a set of paper logs? I said, yes. He said, okay. He said, don't bother grabbing me. So I'm going to if you say you have them, you have them. They're right above my head. I was reaching for them. And he said, don't worry about it. Um, and then he asked to see the fire extinguisher, which I opened the door and showed him because it's right next to where I sit. And then I showed him the triangles that were in the in the side cap, side box. And then we went through everything. We went through the lights. We went through the, uh, we walked around and did a walk around on the tires and the visual condition of the trailer and tractor. And then he went underneath, and while he's underneath on that walkway underneath, it's right directly underneath the, the tractor and the trailer for the full length. He said, when I go down these stairs, he said, leave leave the truck. What did he say? The truck was, uh, brakes were still off. He said, turn your key on. He said, and then when you see the red light on the, on the, uh, the, the table, because there's a table right between, right in front of me. He said, when you see that red light come on, step on your brakes and hold your brakes until I, until the red light goes off and then just release the brakes. So I did that. The guy next to me, while I was doing that, because I had my window down so I could hear Daniel underneath the truck if he needed something. The guy next to me was getting a similar inspection, I imagine. I don't know if he was voluntary or not. I was voluntary. And his trailer lights weren't working. So they were bringing a DOT officer out to write him a ticket. <laughs> I only laugh because it's just crazy. Like, but they the the guy that was putting the inspection sticker because they give you a little little one month inspection sticker. So if you're in Cali and they see you go by the, the scales, they can visually see you've just had a level one done. I've been told it's good for thirty days. But this guy was getting it put on his tractor, but his trailer failed because his turn signal lights on the trailer weren't working, which must have killed him. It must have absolutely killed him. And I didn't look back to see if he was in a company trailer or not. Um, he was in an older model, looked like an older model Freightliner, maybe a 13 to 15 and the, tr the tractor passed anyway. So I get all that done. Daniel walks up, goes, everything's good. Let me just get the paperwork done. He goes inside and brings me the, uh, the, my, my copy. Um, it's a good technique. It's a good technique to build your CSA scores, especially when you have brand new tractors. You know, our plan is once a quarter to get them done wherever we are pull in, ask for a, a voluntary, you know, it would have been bad. It would have been bad if for any reason the trailer didn't pass and I was under a load and I had to shut down. That would have been bad, but it didn't happen. The trailers, the trailers for the company we pull for are pretty well maintained. And, uh, but it still made me, I'm sitting there going, I'm listening to this guy get, you know, shut down. And I'm thinking, man, it just takes, you know, something being off or light or 
a, a break, not completely with that, you know, that amount of play in the, in the, um, what am I thinking of the slack adjuster anyway? So Daniel was a cool dude. He's actually retired from two jobs. He's 58 years old and he's working for the California DOT just for five more years, just to keep stacking his cash. But he's retired from the military and he's retired from, I think he told me the Nevada state patrol. And now he's doing DOT inspections in California. What? Listen, he's going to have a great retirement. I hope he enjoys it. 58 years old, already got two retirement checks rolling in. But real good people, real good dude. Real super, super good, good dude. Super. And the guy inside was nice. But it's a, it's a good plan. So I got my first ever. Like I had to go in and ask for it. I need you to give me a level one. Just do me up. And they were super cool. Let me put a few, few of you more up. Few of you more up. Few, few more people up. Ray Santana. Rene Santana, Jason Spratos, Turkey Leg Fred, Mark Leading, I'm having a great day, man. Hope you are too. Um, again, I'm not going to stay on here long because I need to get my Johnny nap in. You've had some bad days. Let me see your logbook. Well, the thing was, you know, my logs are clean. You know, we, we one of the things about Brothers Grim Trucking, we run super, super, super clean. Still make good money and run super clean. And if you run, you're going to have to run super clean because Brad checks everybody's logs. Run super clean, make good money, super money. I'll be, I'll be looking for a teammate in about two to three months. I got to finish some things up, but I'll be looking for a teammate in about two to three months. I want to run over the road, start running the load boards, if the load boards are still doing well. Because one of the cool things about pulling, if you could jump on that side of the business, you bring your own tractor, brothersgrim.us, put an app in. If you bring your own tractor, on his second authority, you run the load boards. But if the load boards stop, you can always jump in. Maybe I shouldn't say you can always. Brad and I haven't discussed this, but we always have dedicated freight. I just think he only wants full maintenance lease, brand new trucks pulling that because it's such a great account. And the second account we just picked up that he's had is also a great account. So we on those dedicated runs, he only wants the full maintenance lease, brand new trucks. But anyway, so if you're looking for the gig, T Paul, what's going on? If you're looking for the gig, brothersgrim.us, you're going to run clean. You're not going to run dirty. You're going to run clean. You're going to make good money if you're not scared of running recaps seven days a week and then taking a week off every six to, you know, six to eight weeks, four to eight weeks, four to six weeks. Some people take off every month. They, they, work, they work four weeks and take a week off. Work four weeks, take a week off. He just wants you, when you are running, to, work, to run recaps so she never shut down. Um, and that's fine with me, man. This is not a tough, it's not a tough hustle. You know, Northwest is not the best in the wintertime, but once you learn how to throw chains, all that fear goes away. I'll, I'll try to do a chain video while I'm here because I think I'm going to have a little bit of time. I'll try to get a, a video done with chaining so you guys see that. And also the socking, putting your socks on. I don't like the socks. Chains, I feel, I feel good with chains. Plus, I throw chains quick. But listen, that's the stream for today. Level one DOT. I walked in and asked for it to give it to me. Super cool people. California DOT was super cool. Daniel was super cool. I think about that. 58 years old, retired from two gigs, just working out his last five years. Hope he, you know, hope he's not one of those guys that retires and then gone pretty quick. Because that's one of the things about this gig that I love is I'm not waiting for retirement to enjoy myself. I enjoy truck driving. I enjoy CDL, 18-wheel big rig truck driving. I enjoy the money. I enjoy the travel. I don't consider this a job. I don't. Like I enjoy traveling around, making good money, being left alone. And I'm still a young pup. I'm still only 40, 60 on YouTube. So anyway, level one DOT. That is the story overtaxed in Minnesota. What is going on? Container guru. What's happening? Um, we, we, that's, that's our uh, container guru. I think that was you. Yep. Surprised that they weren't. No, they weren't surprised. Uh, oddly enough, they weren't. But some trucking companies do that, especially new trucking companies that run really good equipment, helps you, build, helps you build your CSA scores. It's a great plan. It's a great strategy or strategy, if you say it normally, not like George W. Bush. But I like saying strategy because it's just a funny word. And he just made it up. I don't even, he probably uses it in Scrabble, but he's a former president. He can do whatever he wants to do in Scrabble. Well, listen, I'm going to get my Johnny Knapp in because I got I to gotta run tonight. I got to leave here about 830, get to the receiver, drop this off, and then come back to my reserve parking. So 
Let me get my Johnny Knapp in. Thank you guys for being here. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Smash the like or the dislike button just for being here. Whether you like the content or not, I appreciate the eyeballs. Red Viking Werewolf Trucker, I am Vominos.